In this video, we'll see how to create sections and elevations in just under 10 minutes with Rayon. Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is a three-part series on how to draft with Rayon. In the last video, we saw how to draw flow plans and in this one, we'll look in detail on how to draw sections and elevations with Rayon. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. So let's get started. If you haven't used Rayon yet, you can try it for free from the link in the description. Let's begin with the same Rayon file that we used to create the flow plan. The first step would be to import the section image. We can simply drag and drop it into the Rayon model to place it. Head over to Fill, Image and let's reduce the opacity of the section image. Lock the section image from the layers and now we have to scale the image to match the dimensions. We know that the total height of the building is 9 meters, so let's draw a vertical line of 9 meters. Go to the command tab and type scale. This will open the scale tool. Pick the base point on the vertical line as reference and the second point is the top end of the reference image. Let's use these two points to scale the image. We can now start drafting the section. I'm starting with the polyline tool. Let's start drawing around the section cut areas in the footing. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake with these points because you can always edit them later. Let's begin drawing the section cut walls and for that we'll use the wall tool. Let's reduce the opacity to 50 and start drawing the section cuts. We can also toggle between the left, center or right alignment while drafting the walls. Once again, the positions of these walls are fully customizable so you can move or edit them later as well. Once done, let's begin drawing the elevation lines and for that we can use the line tool. I'm changing the stroke to 0.4 and beginning to draw the lines. Make sure you have all the snapping tools turned on from the preferences as this will make it easier to draft and connect the points. We can also use the rectangular tool and change the stroke for some parts of the section. We will now have to draw the dotted lines and an easy way to do that is to create a style. Head over to the styles tab on the left side and add a shape. Let's change the name to dotted elevation lines, pick a color and add dash. The dash can be in 0.5 and this style can be used to add all the dotted lines in the section. An advantage of using the styles is that we can always go back and edit them and this will reflect completely in the drawing that we're making. We can alternate between the line tool and the polyline tool to make the drawing workflow much easier for us. Let's begin drawing the doors and windows in elevation. For this, I'm using the rectangular tool once again and to draw the frames, we can use the offset tool. Go to command and type offset. Let's draw the glazing line in between and to match it with the dotted lines, we can simply use the picker tool. Just select the picker tool and click on a dotted line and this will change it automatically. Let's use the polyline option with a solid fill and a reduced opacity to draw some shadows on the frame. Let's copy them above and change the position of the glazing. We have a rack on the right side. So let's use the rectangular tool once again to create them. Draw one rack. Hold ALT and drag them below and this will create a copy of the rectangles. Let's make them into a group once again and copy these racks to the level on the bottom. Now begins the fun part of adding furniture. Head over to libraries and search for kitchen. We can add the kitchen components in elevation, in this case an oven. Let's add dotted lines for the kitchen cabinets and we can use the line command to create the tall unit in elevation. The NA house has a lot of plants and vegetation indoors. So let's begin populating the scene with plants and elevation. I'm arranging them in different positions and varying the sizes to create some interest. I'm using the polyline tool to create a ground hatch below the footing. Change the solid hatch and reduce the opacity. I'm creating a copy of the same polyline and on this layer, I'm changing the fill to hatch. 
Let's draw a rectangle below the drawing and this layer of rectangle has to be below the rest of all the other drawings that we made. So make sure to arrange the layers accordingly. Now obviously we need to add a white fill around the section cut to create highlight in this section. We can use the polyline tool with the solid fill for that. Make sure to arrange the white fill below the rest of the drawings as well. We can now populate the scene with more decor and books to make them more lively. Rayon has an extensive library and you have a lot of decor elements to add life to your scene. I'm creating a variation here with books, flower vases, headphones and a lot of other components available in the library. Once added, let's match them to the color palette. Similarly, we can look up for human figures in the library and drag them into the drawing. We have a variety of human figures to use and this makes the drawing lively and interesting. I'm copying the arrows that we made on the floor plan and adding them into the section. Search for tags in the library and we have these elevation marks. Let's add them into the section to mark each level in the drawing. Let's copy the title block that we made in the floor plan and add it into the section. And with that, we have the section complete for the NH house. Drawing the elevation would be much easier after creating the section, so let's jump into it. We'll be following the similar workflow to create the elevation as well. Import the elevation base image and reduce the opacity. Use the scale command to resize the image as per dimension. Using the polyline tool with a stroke, we can draw the outlines of the elevation. We can create the windows by using the rectangle tool and then use the offset command to create the frames. Draw the glazing lines and use the picker tool to match it from the section that we drew previously. Then use the polyline tool with a solid fill to create some shadows for the frames. We can create the rest of the dotted lines and match them using the picker tool as well. I'm drafting these elements separately since they are a bit behind in the elevation. We can now turn off the base image and draw the rest of the lines in the elevation. Using the solid fill with reduced opacity is a great technique to create the impression of shadows in elevations, sections or even floor plans. Once done, we can drag and drop human figures just like how we did previously. You can browse through the Rayon library and also multiple templates that Rayon offers for free from their Instagram page. This will give you a great variety of elements to use. Let's add a solid white fill and move it below the rest of the drawings. Let's place the elevation drawing right next to the section and extend the rectangle that we created. Feel free to add your own unique style and character to these drawings by incorporating different elements like birds, sky, sun and so on. Once done with the drawing, 
Let's copy the template that we created previously for the flow plan. Resize the template according to the drawing. Head over to the page tab and we'll be able to export it by changing the format and scale. You can choose between different scales here from the drop down or type in a custom scale. You can also choose between different page sizes in this drop down. In this case, let's fit to paper and plot it. Head over to these dots and we'll be able to export it as a PDF or a PNG image. And here is the final drawing that we created with Rayon. If you made it this far, you can download the NA House drawing template including the flow plans, sections, elevations and the architectural details completely for free from the link in the description. Open the link, duplicate the model and you're ready to go. So that was it from drawing sections and elevations with Rayon Design. I'll see you on the next one where we'll be drawing architectural details with this software. I hope you found this video to be helpful and if you did, please hit that like button and share this with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.